Attorney General Chris Carr says the war on fentanyl is ramping up. Leaders trying to tackle that problem say it'll take groups coming together to combat the opioid crisis in the state. Your Julius Evans has the story. This is a mental health issue, a public safety issue, and most of all, a human issue. Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr says there's still a lot of ground to cover in the Peach State's opioid problem. How do we leverage the expertise, the assets, and the resources that we have to combat this crisis that's impacting everybody? Carr says success is already being seen in the CSRA with a 15-pound fentanyl drug bust in Augusta alone last fall. Despite those efforts around the state, the GBI says fentanyl is still growing. It's starting to spread throughout the state, just like an epidemic as it's been explained. It's getting into our rural counties, and it is something that we've got to uh, address in every county of the state. Carr says in 2022, there were nearly 2,000 opioid deaths, a 300% increase since 2010. Local government leaders are hopeful to combat this with state funding, from nearly a billion dollars worth of settlements from drug manufacturers and distributors. We could uh, establish a task force to uh, determine how those dollars can be distributed to the many, many needed organizations throughout our community. An issue the state says is not going away anytime soon. Efforts will continue until the end. In Augusta, Julia Evans, on your side. Carr says those state funds are projected to make it to the hands of local governments over the next few years. The money will be focused on providing resources for treatment and prevention.